How's it going? So today we are talking about my three, yes, three all-time favorite dumpster finds, discoveries, salvages. Um, this is all time. So we're talking like a decade. Yeah. So they're pretty cool. Number one, a Coleman stove. A Coleman stove? Yes, a Coleman stove. It was an antique Coleman stove made of like brass and stuff like that and was absolutely gorgeous. And I sold it like the next day. So I put it on my blog that I was doing a really great job of keeping up on back then. This is before I had YouTube. And someone saw it on there and from there went to eBay to find it and then bought it. I made a lot of money on that thing. It was insane. I found it in a school dumpster. Of course, that is my bread and butter, school dumpsters. They had apparently like cleaned out their science lab and everything went in there. P.S. Check out my dumpster diaries video, the time I had a tweaker at my yard sale. It goes right along with that whole science lab clean out. Not one of my prouder moments. But anyway, <clears throat> so Coleman stove, really, really cool. Then my second, well, this is hard to, mm, it's tricky. I'm going to say my second would be the teeth. <laughs> yes, the teeth. All right. So, <laughs> um, again, check out my dumpster diaries for that time I sold teeth online. So they were baby teeth. There were three little old school prescription bottles and they had names written on top. How sweet is that? And they were this woman's kids' baby teeth that like they probably put under the pillow for the tooth fairy, you know, and she saved them, which is really a good idea for like DNA purposes. Hope you never need it, but good idea to have those around. Anyway, so she had saved them and they were like old school teeth and had silver caps and all this good stuff. Yeah, I sold them in two different lots on eBay right before it became illegal to sell like body parts and stuff. <laughs> I got in just under the wire, sold one set to a museum in Florida, and then sold the other one to someone in the Midwest. Made a boatload of money. That that find was cool in that I made good money off of it, and also because it was just so random and weird. I had been getting a whole bunch of other stuff out of the bins, like crafty stuff, hand-stitched and tatted lace, and anyway, grandma stuff that this woman had made through her life and her family just like threw it away. That was a tragic one. But anyways, then I found the first bottle of teeth and I was like, eh, and actually put it back in the bin because I'm like, teeth. Ugh. But then I got, as this you know often happens, I got this like hunch, this, this feeling. Get those teeth. Get those teeth. So I did. And then come to find out the big like box they were in of all kinds of things had another bottle of teeth and then another. So anyway, that's how that all happened. That was awesome. So that's in my top three, just because it was just so weird. You just never know what people will buy. There are weirdos. And I'm not saying you guys are weirdos who bought those. I appreciate that you bought them. But what I'm saying is there's weirdos everywhere. All right. Your neighbors, your family, your friends, there's stuff going on behind their doors you don't know about and you probably don't want to know about. So when you find something wacky in the bins, don't automatically assume that it's just straight up garbage and doesn't, you know, have a chance to be sold to someone who might appreciate that random thing. The number one thing that I have found, and it is one that I definitely kept for myself. I was going to show it to you guys today, but I have to dig it out of the safe and I don't have time because I'm heading to class. But anyway, it was a little booklet, a little red booklet from like a, a touristy place in California where you would go to try to pan for gold, really kitschy kind of place, just tourist trap. And it was from, I can't remember exactly. I think it was like from the fifties or sixties, somewhere in that, in that era. And it was just a little how to kind of a guidebook on how to pan for gold. And on the very last page taped inside was a nice big flake of real gold. Real freaking gold in the garbage. 
Yeah, gold in the garbage. I have found cash and lots of coins in the bins, and that's so awesome whenever that happens, but gold, gold, gold in the dumpster. I don't know what the rates are at right now for gold, but people. All right. So those are my top three. I have not decided what my top three favorite, awesomest, coolest finds were from this last summer, but I would like to think about that and, and, and come down to a kind of a consensus between you guys and me of what were the three coolest things that we found in the 2017 dumpster diving season. And I want to decide that before we start on the 2018 dumpster diving season, which will be upon us in no time. I start that in April. So that's going to be here before you know it. So when you get a minute, go ahead and look through that convenient playlist of In the Dumpsters, and it's a comprehensive collection of all of my dumpster adventures from this last summer and a little bit of stuff before that even. Look through those when you have time. When you feel like binge watching, you have my permission. What were your top three favorite or what you think were coolest, most awesome, or most surprising, or strange, or uh, or whatever. Notable finds, top three, from my dumpster diving season 2017. Go ahead and leave those thoughts in the comments below, and I will be coming back and talking about those before this next season starts. So, before I go, today I am starting this drama class. It's required for my major. It's a, it's not like focusing on like, we're not going to like do plays or anything, but it's reading plays and, and anyway, different dramatic text, blah, blah, blah. So I decided what better time than today to go all like dramatic. So I did dramatic hair and look at these, they're feathers. I kid you not. These are feathers. Yeah. <laughs> um, dumpster blouse, dumpster sweater, and hand-me-down earrings. Oh, oh, and one of my dumpster-made scarves. Huh? Yeah. Oh, and um, one of my new pair of Zenny glasses. They have little sparkles, so I'm not, not trying to flip you off there. They have little sparkles on the side. It's a drama class, and it's my only class today, so we're going dramatic. All right. That's all I've got for today. Be sure to binge watch those videos. Okay, just watch however many you are comfortable with watching. All right, so be sure to leave your top three from Dumpster Diving Season 2017 in the comments below so that I can get that video put together for you guys. Have a marvelous day. We'll see you soon. Bye.